Championship Chucky Challenge. <laughs> Team Make Believe, you've advanced into our final round and the chance to take home our grand prize. Uh, are you ready to play? Yeah, we are right here. All right. Munch, as a team representative, this final question goes to you. You may talk amongst yourselves, but please, no help from the audience. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock. Back to Championship Chucky Challenge! <laughs> Team Make Believe, you've advanced into our final round and the chance to take home our grand prize! Uh, are you ready to play? Yeah, we are right here! All right! Munch, as a team representative, this final question goes to you. You may talk amongst yourselves, but please, no help from the audience. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock. Oh boy! Mr. Munch, here is your question for our grand prize. A year's worth of Chuck E. Cheese pizza, a year-long unlimited play pass, and one medium drink, good with purchase. What is Chuck E. Cheese's middle name? Oh, it seems like I should know this. What do you think, Munch? Hmm, the question put before us is regarding Chucky's middle name. The answer will determine if we win or lose this little game. If we can list a list of words beginning with the letter E, I bet between the four of us we'll come up with it cleverly. I bet between, between the four of us we'll come up with it cleverly. Uh, let's see here, what could it be? Perhaps it's education for the things he's always teaching us. Or maybe it's empathic for the way he's always reaching us. Or how about exercise because he lifts the weight so mightily? I don't know, Pasquale, that just doesn't seem quite right to me. But maybe it's endearing for the way he is so dear to us. Or possibly enduring because he's there year after year for us. Perhaps examination for the way he is so studious. I really am embarrassed that the answer is eluding us. We, we really, really are embarrassed that the answer is eluding us. us. One minute left. Oh boy. Um, hey everybody, Chucky it's time to dance with your old pal Chuck E. Cheese. Or maybe it's enormous, except he's exactly opposite. Or maybe it's enlightened for the wisdom that he's showing us. I hate to say it, Helen, but I think that is erroneous. But possibly it's edgy for the way he pushes boundaries. Or maybe evolution. Did you see him in the 70s? I guess it could be envelope for all the letters that he said. I'm so exasperated that the answer isn't evident. We're, We're so, so exasperated. That that the answer isn't evident. evident. 30 seconds to go. Oh no, um, I think it might be emo. No, he doesn't seem that dark to me. Perhaps it could be element. Maybe he's not that into chemistry, or maybe it is engineer. I've never seen him on a train, but maybe it is epic. Oh, oh no, please, let's not do that again. again. I guess it could be emu, or electric, or emotion. Or maybe it is elephant, or a plant, or explosion. Or maybe it's emoji, like the text he sent me yesterday. We're running out of time, so I'm just going to take a guess and say we're, we're almost out of time. And so he's just going to take a guess and say, He's esophagus! Really, Munch? Chuck esophagus cheese? Uh, is that not it? <laughs> no! My middle name is Entertainment. Entertainment? Well, yeah! <laughs> My middle name is entertainment for the way I dance and sing. My middle name is entertainment for the fun I always bring. It's entertainment for the great activities we get to do. But mostly it's my middle name because I love entertaining you. But mostly it's my middle name because I love entertaining you. Wait, that cannot be your middle name. Yeah, we get it, Chuck. You're very entertaining. Personally, I kind of liked Emo Chuck. Yeah, and he looked cute in his little engineer hat. No, guys. My middle name really is entertainment. Next, you're going to tell me your first name is really Charles. Actually, Chuck is short for Charles. Oh, Charles. I feel like I don't even know you. It can't be Charles, right? It's not Charles. That's, that's crazy. 